What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So STR Gogeta's easy A passive was just leaked by Team Dokkaner on Twitter. And man, is he ever going to be broken? Let's just get into it. So his new passive is going to be attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional 7% attack for every rainbow key sphere obtained. And of course, he's also going to maintain his attacks effective against all types passive because that's a hallmark of Gogeta cards in this game. And on a less hype note, we're also getting AGL Kid Boo's easy A as well. And his new passive is going to be recovers 14% HP at the start of the turn and gain an additional 14% attack and 7% defense for every rainbow key sphere obtained. Now, I'm sure this is going to make Kid Buu a lot better than he was before and I'm sure AGL Kid Buu is going to be a very solid unit post Easy A. But let's be honest, does anyone really care about AGL Kid Buu's Easy A when we have STR Gogeta's Easy A? on the way and for those of you who are wondering why i'm freaking out so much about gogeta's extreme z awakening why i care so much why i'm so excited this guy is going to do so much freaking damage it's not even funny like honestly once it's all said and done once all the calculations are out i think that str gogeta is going to do close to if not more damage than agl super gogeta now don't go out there and tell everybody that's what, that's what I said. I'm not stating as a fact, I'm just saying I think it could be close. Now, of course, AGL Super Gogeta, once he transforms into Gogeta Blue, it's gonna do a lot more damage, but not counting the transformation, just as Super Gogetas go, I think SDR Super Gogeta is gonna be close to AGL Super Gogeta, if not higher. And I don't really have much calculations or numbers to back that up, it's just kind of a feeling right now. But let's do a quick comparison between the old non-Extreme Z Awakened STR Gogeta and the new upcoming Extreme Z Awakened STR Gogeta. So this was STR Gogeta in his, you know, normal state, in his old state. His passive was attack plus 7,000. That's it, just a flat boost of 7,000 attack. And of course, attacks effective against all types. The thing is, attack plus 7,000 is so insignificant as a percentage that, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing. It's really nothing. Like, if you convert attack plus 7,000 into a percentage, it's a very, very low percentage. So imagine now this guy with a 77% attack boost, which seems kind of low by, you know, today's standards. A lot of these new Dokkan Fest units get at least 100% or maybe 150% up to 200%. But 77% on this guy is actually huge. And part of that is because of his insane stats. This guy at rainbow status right now has an attack stat of 17,760 and that's gonna go even higher once he gets the extreme Z awakening somewhere close to 20,000 which is like LR status right but regardless the reason he does so much damage what he's going to do so much damage is because of his attack stat and the fact he's getting 77% and I didn't, I didn't even factor in the fact that he's also getting 7% attack for every rainbow key sphere attained which is gonna just push his damage even higher than that. And the crazy thing is that even before his Extreme Z Awakening, he didn't do bad damage. I tested him out recently on a double Gogeta lead, um, LR Gogeta's that is, so double 170 lead. And he was pushing out like a million damage consistently, no problem, and if you give him additionals, he's also going to do double that damage with the two attacks, all right? So he was doing good damage, but I don't think anyone would disagree with me when I say that he did need in Extreme Z Awakening, he was definitely outdated compared to a lot of the newer Dokkan Fest units. So, you know, with attack plus 7,000, he was doing over a million damage for a super attack. How much damage is he gonna do with 77% as well as a 77% uh, defense buff as well? So now he can actually do a little bit of tanking, which is not really what we're using him for, but it's nice whenever a unit can actually do a little bit of tanking and not take a million damage when you get supered by the enemy. But, um, the main thing is his damage, right? The main thing we're focusing on is damage and it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be stupid. A member of the Dokkan subreddit actually named jboggs64 actually did some quick calculations and his conclusion was that at rainbow status, that status, that is the average attack stat of Gogeta, the SDR Gogeta after Extreme Z Awakening, it's going to be 3.4, somewhere close to 3.4 million. I mean, if you want to be specific, it's 3,298,032. But that 
value does not factor in additional attacks and crits. So realistically, it's going to be quite a bit higher than that as well. And he's also not factoring in the fact that he could be running supports on the team, which give somewhere between 30 to 40% attack as well. And um, yeah, I mean, if you just think about the fact that that number could be pushed way higher if you factor in additionals, factor in crits, you factor in the fact that he will be getting supports as well a lot of the times. Um, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be mad, it's gonna be crazy. Now, in this calculation, he also only factored in two rainbow orbs, so that's 14% on top of the 77%. If you factor in, I don't know, three, four, even five rainbow key spheres, which is the max you can get on one turn, probably over 4 million, right? So <laughs> overall, what I'm trying to say is that STR Gogeta is gonna be a monster, and conceivably, he could hit harder than AGL Super Gogeta before he transforms, and he's going to hit way, way harder than Int Super Gogeta. And I'm not trying to hate on Int Super Gogeta. I love Int Super Gogeta. I think he's an amazing unit. He's still a monster in his own right. But when when, when you're comparing that to this new STR EZA Gogeta, I mean, it's not even close. It's not even a fair fight. Like, there's no contest. There's no contest. So, yeah, that, that's all I gotta really say. Um, we don't have any other information about the Gogeta event, what that's gonna look like. Um, or what his new super attack is going to be. I, I, I think I saw actually that the super attack is going to stay the same, but they might add, I don't know, like a defensive buff or a defensive debuff on the enemy or something like that, but it's, it's not a huge deal. It's not going to make a huge difference. Overall though, just from what we can see right now, just from the pass that we got from this leak today, SDR Super Gogeta, amazing, 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 and I can't wait for it to come to globals. I do have the guy rainbowed on global, but unfortunately, when it comes to JP, um, I don't even have a copy of this guy, so <laughs> it's not really that exciting for me, I guess, on the JP side because I can't do anything with the EZA because I don't have the STR Super Gogeta. But once it comes to Global, it's over. It's game over because on Global, he's a rainbow for me. I've been ready for like years at this point, and I can't wait to exchange the Awaken him on my Global account. And hopefully on JP, I can get him at some point. But for you JP players that have been playing for a while, I know a lot of you have STR Super Gogeta rainbowed. So have fun and uh, just, <laughs> I mean, enjoy this OP ass unit once you finish Extreme Z Awakening him because he is going to be overpowered. Like, I, I know I throw that word, and that word gets thrown around a lot, but this is legit OP. Like, this is, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb how strong it's gonna be. And I love Bandai for that. I love the fact that they are okay with making these old Dokkan Fest units really, really overpowered and really strong, even by today's standards. Um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for all of us. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm really excited, and I'm not sure if I made sense throughout this entire video. There might have been some parts that are a little bit iffy, just because I'm so excited. I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, other than that, I mean, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this STR Gogeta EZA. And uh, let me know actually how many dupes you have in yours, if you do have him. Hopefully everybody that's watching right now does have at least one copy. And uh, whether or not you have him rainbowed, because that's extra exciting for you. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I do want to talk quickly about this AGL Kid boo, just for those few people that do really care about it. And uh, of course, I want to make sure that you guys have all the information available out there. So I'm just going to quickly talk about this. AGL Kid boo. his passive used to be recovers 12% HP at the start of the turn, and that was it. That, that was all he had. So he was actually really trash. Like, he was really, really trash. But now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, it's going to be 14% HP, which is solid. And uh, he will also get attack and defense for Rainbow Key Spheres, which is very good. So uh, he's actually going to be usable. Because in the past, before before this Extreme Z Awakening, I, I honestly could say that he, is not, he was not really usable for a lot of people with at least like decent extreme extreme AGL units. But now with his EZA, he's going to have better stats. He has a way better passive. He is going to be a significantly better unit. But the focus, of course is on this man right here, STR Super Gogeta. Absolute monster, absolutely broken. I can't wait to see some damage numbers when people are able to test them in game. And that's all I gotta say for today. 
Um, and that's it. I mean, <laughs> nothing else to say. I'm just hyped. Hope you guys are hyped as well. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.